What's up everyone? Your friendly neighborhood Spider Zoop here with another edition of Buyer Beware. This time Soviet Tokens. And Wargaming was kind enough to give me 16 of these crates to open. In addition to the 10,000 doubloons that I'm going to use to get the little dice rolls that you can do for this arc. And you see right here I'm opening the containers that have these tokens. These are going to be available through the missions. Uh, we have these missions every single time we have an arc, so you can't get these in the premium shop, which is good, because you don't get a lot in these. Uh, as you can see right here, my yields are anywhere between 5 and I think 15. Now, I did get a 25 towards the end, and I have seen a 250, but I don't know how rare those are. I'm, I'm going to imagine they're pretty rare. Uh, very rare indeed. Now, the maximum you can get of these by completing all the missions is going to be around, I want to say about 50 or so. And that's a good thing, because if you want to use these to get the new Russian cruisers in advance, you're going to need every single token you can get. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get into that here in just a second. Actually, I'm not I'm not going to force you to watch all these crate openings. We're, we're going to go into the very important part of this video and the buyer beware portion right now. So things work a little differently this time around with the ships that you can get. We're going to jump right into Soviet cruisers and right here, of course, at the top Soviet bundles, you got the Mikoyan, which is the very first one that you can get for Soviet tokens. Now, the interesting thing you're going to notice right here is there are also permanent camouflages that go with each ship, or with each preceding ship, for that matter. Starting at 300 credits for the McCoyan, we're going to go up here real quick to the bundles, and I'm going to start burning through these doubloons, these 10,000 doubloons, which, you know, that, that's a fair bit of cash right there. Your odds of what you can get are down here. The best thing you can get is the Soviet token trove, which yields 700 Soviet tokens, but there's only one of those. So, out of 100 rolls, it could take you 100 to get that. Those odds aren't that great. The Soviet stack, the token stack, is okay, but that's only like 250 right there. I mean, you could burn a lot of money on this. I mean, you could spend upwards of $100 and still not get that Soviet token trove, which, in my opinion, that, that's just kind of not good. Now, the problem with this, the problem with this isn't the bundles themselves. It's the fact that the ships are, well, on face value, the McCoyan at 300 Soviet tokens doesn't seem that expensive whatsoever. However, you can see right up top the amount of tokens I have from opening my crates, and the few bundles I've opened right now is 180. So, I've already opened five of these bundles, I opened 16 containers, and I'm just now a little over halfway towards getting the McCoyan. That's not the worst part about it. We're all used to getting these ships and going on to the next ship. However, I attempted to do that this time, and there's the Soviet token stack. Not 250, it's uh, 150, so... Yeah. You get four of those out of a hundred, so your odds for that, one out of twenty-five, if you're lucky. So, we're used to getting one ship after another after another. Well, this time, I tried purchasing the next ship up, and I it, I was a little confused, because it said, you can't purchase this ship right now. I'm going to show you that right now, What exactly what happened. See, I'm purchasing the McCoyan. I'm exchanging my, and you see I've got 1,165 up there. I'll, I'll show you how I got that, and it was a little bit of luck. So I've got the McCoy in right now, and I'm trying to purchase the Talin, which is 500 credits. I'm like, all right, cool, I got that. And it's saying you, you have to obtain the previous bundle first, and it forces you to buy the camouflage. So the camouflage is considered a bundle, unfortunately. And I don't like this. I don't like the fact that I have to purchase permanent camouflage to get to the next ship. So that's how they get you this time around. They're forcing you to get this permanent camouflage, which is part of the arc. You just can't go from the McCoyan to the Talin, to the Riga. You've got to go from the McCoyan to the camouflage, to the Talin, to the camouflage, to the Riga. And then if you want it, there's the permanent camouflage for the Petropavlovsk, which I don't see anyone going for. That would cost an awful lot of credits. And I don't like this. I really don't. So we're going to go back to 
what I was getting, and this is this is really actually kind of funny here, because I was towards my very very last set of doubloons that Wargaming got me, and <laughs> still didn't get that Soviet treasure trove, you know, and I, and I just have this sneaking suspicion that something crazy is going to happen, and sure enough. The very next one was that treasure trove, or whatever the hell it's called, the token trove, the 750. And I don't have the doubloons for it, so Wargaming managed to get me to pay for 500 doubloons out of my own pocket so I could get that. And that's how I was able to afford all that other stuff. But that's beside the point. Folks, I, I've given you an idea of how much things are going to cost for this. If you can grind out the missions and get the 50 crates, more power to you. That's not going to guarantee you that you can even get the base ship. I mean, more than likely, you probably will. But there's no guarantee that it's going to get you the base ship. Ultimately, you're going to have to get those bundles. And those bundles, in my opinion, are pretty expensive for what you get out of them. So, that's your buyer beware. If you want these ships, be prepared to pay for these ships. And it's not going to be cheap. If that doesn't bother you, that's awesome. More power to you. But this is just kind of a continuation of, I'm not going to call it predatory uh, <laughs> predatory premiums. I mean, we, we've got another dockyard coming up where they're trying to sell a $20 ship for 35,000 doubloons, but don't don't get me started on that. But th this is just, you know, it's it's transparency, but it's expensive transparency. So there you have it. Anyhow, I hope this helps you in your decision making. I hope you all are doing wonderful. Have a great weekend, great week, great month, everything else, and I'll catch you all later. Zoop out.